Ernst Rotenbach grew up with beer. His family has been brewing it in Alsace for centuries. But Rotenbach is the first beer sommelier in his family. He'll show you that beer doesn't just taste good with roast pork and sauerkraut. You have to explain to people that they shouldn't just order a beer. They should consider what they're going to eat and what goes with it. I hope that in a few years that will be catching on, or that people will really live that way. Or did you know that semi-sweet chocolate goes best with a nice dark Bach beer? They complement each other really well. Ernst Rotenbach's first recommendation, Unter Aufsess Castle, is right behind the brewery. The Rotenbach family is closely connected to the castle owners. Here we are in the Unteraufsess castle, the ancestral home of the von Aufsess family. They employed my ancestors, who worked their way up from servant to castellan. The von Aufsess family shaped this community, and the castle is a regional landmark. Sometimes the owner of the castle has time to show people around. This is Hans Aufsess, who founded the Germanic National Museum in Nuremberg. He's the best known member of the family. The castle was built 900 years ago and is still in the family's possession. Next, Ernst Rotenbach takes us to Gers Weinstein, a pilgrimage site less than 20 kilometers away. It also played an important role for his family. Gers Weinstein is important to us because it's where we bought our first brewing equipment. The monks had to give up brewing and they sold it all to us. We brought 10 ox cart loads to Aufsess. On November 4, 1896, we brewed our first beer under our own name and laid the foundation for our brewery. Kurs Feinstein's main attraction is the Basilica, one of the most famous buildings by Baroque architect Balthasar Neumann. Some 30,000 pilgrims come here each year. Another contemplative site north of Gers Weinstein is Ernst Rotenbach's third tip. I find these rock formations awe-inspiring. This is the power of nature. And you have a forest that's great for hiking or taking a walk. You can let your mind drift and simply relax. Wilhelmine, Marchioness of Bayreuth, commissioned the park to be landscaped in the 18th century. Constructions like this theater grotto which is still a venue for performances, alternate with natural backdrops, giving the park its unique character. 